All right, in this lesson, we're gonna go over the open stance footwork pattern, and I want to make it very simple for you when you're gonna use it and how you're going to implement this specific footwork pattern. So I want you to focus on stepping in on most of your ground strokes. So you're gonna be moving up and stepping in on the front foot, especially when the ball's in the middle of the court. Even if the ball takes you out a little bit wider, you're gonna practice stepping in still because I want you to be aggressive on your front foot. That's gonna be the best way for you to play your best tennis. But there is going to be a time that you're going to wanna to use what I call the open stance footwork pattern on the forehand and the backhand. And you're gonna use it when you get out towards the single sideline, okay? That's the only time that you really need to use it. Yes, you can set up in the middle of the court with a semi-open stance. You can load up on high balls and load the outside leg and transfer the weight to the front foot. But really in this lesson, what we're talking about is what do you do when you get out here and you get out wide? And instead of running out for the ball and lunging for it and struggling with that footwork pattern or that way of moving, I want you to understand exactly how to do it. And so the way this is gonna work is that whether it comes to your forehand or your backhand, when you come out of the split, I need you to make a strong first move. Okay, so you're gonna make a strong first move and then load this outside leg. Now when you go to swing, you need to focus on shuffling as you hit the ball. And when you finish, you're going to be in a wide base. Okay, now I know that's a lot of information, but the keys that I want you to remember, strong first move, okay, strong first move, shuffle as you hit, finish in a wide base. Too often I see players struggle by finishing in a narrow base. So what we wanna do is go through progressions. The first progression is shadow stroking. So what I'd like you to practice on your own or in your warmups is using the shadow stroke footwork patterns where you're moving at a diagonal and you're hitting open stance. So I'm gonna make sure I'm a few feet behind the baseline. I'm not going to start on the baseline. When I get four feet behind the baseline, now I'm gonna work on cutting angles. So if I go to my forehand, I'm gonna come out of the split and I'm gonna to try to take two big steps and then shuffle as I hit the ball, okay? So the two big steps, the crossover, the load, and then that shuffle as I hit the ball. So this is what it will look like if I go two times to the forehand. Notice I'm moving at an angle and noticing that I have the strong crossover and I'm shuffling as I hit the ball and I finish in that wide base. Now let's come over to the backhand side. Same exact thing. When I go to hit the backhand, I'm going to split, cross over, load, and then shuffle as I hit the ball. So you wanna practice that as well. I'm gonna do two on the backhand side. Now one thing that I wanna add here is that when you finish, when you finish in a wide base, in order to recover, you have two options. If you have to cover a lot of ground, you're gonna cross over to get back. But if you do hit this ball cross court, and you're in this position, you can actually just shuffle back. It really depends on how much court that you need to cover. Now, once you've practiced your shadow strokes, you can actually have the ball machine start to spit out balls to one side so you can practice this footwork pattern. So first, we're gonna go over the forehand and then we'll go over the backhand, okay? So first is the forehand. I make sure I set up behind the baseline, give myself a lot of space so that I can step up to the ball or I can move at an angle. And now I'm gonna work on hitting some open stance forehands. So that one wasn't as wide as it needed to be, but I still could work on this first move, one step, two step, where I, hold, where I load this leg, and then shuffling as I hit it. Now I'm gonna have the ball go a little bit wider. Good, now, some of you out there might not be as athletic, maybe you can't take the big steps that I just showed you. If that's the case, do your best to get out to the ball, it could be a few steps, but then when you load this outside leg, make sure that you shuffle as you hit the ball, 
Okay, so don't worry as much about how many steps you're taking out there at first. Just focus on loading the outside leg and shuffling as you hit the ball, finishing in that wide base. So let's go ahead and take a look at some backhands right now. Same exact thing. So again, you'll notice I focused on finishing in a wide base right here when I was done. That's really what I want to impress upon you is that as you're hitting the ball, you'll shuffle and then you'll finish in that wide base. I also cut the angle there. I didn't move across. I moved at an angle. So then you can actually add a side to side component. So now what I want to do is I'm going to have the ball go side to side and set the ball machine up or have your partner feed you or hit you balls. We're going to go side to side nice and easy with the open stance. Wide base, split, wide base, split, wide base, split. Okay, and you get the idea. There's a rhythm to it. And if you study Djokovic and all the great movers, that's what it looks like. They're not taking a lot of little steps side to side. Once you get that down, now it's time to hit some balls. So what we want to do is we want to grab a partner and we want to make sure that we either tell our partner to start feeding or like rallying with you, occasionally hitting wide, or just keep it in your mind that anytime the ball is hit wide, you're going to work on that open stance. So if the ball comes through the middle, I'm still going to step in. Okay, so you're going to see some balls here that are open stance, where, where I hit open stance. Some balls that come to me where I'm going to step in. All right, here we go. We're rallying. So I get out, open stance. Step in. Open stance. Notice the wide base. I'll step in on the middle ball. I'll step in on that ball. Too tough. Try it again. Step in on this ball. There's my open. Now I could have cut the angle there a little bit better. I'll try to cut it on this one. Next wide ball I get. Step in because I came forward. Here's open. Step in. Do it again here. Next open stance. Watch me cut it at an angle. I step in, up on the baseline, open stance, open stance. I had to take more steps that time, stepping in, good. So I kind of talked you through that, what I'm thinking about on the footwork. Balls in the middle, step in. Balls that are out wide, I focus on open stance. That's what I want you to practice. See if you can get that down integrate both footwork patterns, stepping in and then on the wide ball, hitting the open stance. Make sure you shuffle as you hit the ball. Make sure you finish in a wide base. Make sure you cut off the ball at an angle if you can. All right, I didn't want to leave all of you one-handed backhand players out there. So we're going to show some open stance backhands with the one-handed backhand. Everything is the same. When you're getting out to the wide ball, Try to cut the ball at an angle if you can. If you're a little late on it, then you're going to have to move across. But try to cut the angle, make a big, strong move. And then as you hit the ball, you're shuffling and then you're finishing in a wide base. Now, one thing I want to point out is that on the one handed backhand, you're going to see more players and you can try it yourself stepping in on the, stepping across and stepping in on this ball. You just have to make sure that you jump around and square up when, you, when you're done. You're going to see a lot of pros doing that. But we're going to focus more on the open stance here. Just know that you, the one-handers can step in more. and It's a little bit easier for them than to hit the open stance. So here it goes. We're going to work on the open stance backhand, one-handed backhand, going out wide towards the single sideline. And just keep in mind that we're still working on all the same concepts that we talked about with the two-handed backhand and with the forehand. So you got out there, and I finished in, an, in a wide base. We'll do it again. Again, finishing in this wide base when I'm done. 
As I talked about before, you can also step in. You just need to make sure you're square up. So let me, squared up. So let me show you that variation. So wide ball, step in, and then I have to jump. But this is the open stance lesson. So just know that when we're teaching this, when we're focusing on this, we want to make sure we get out there and we finish in a wide base. So again, to review for all of you watching this lesson, we're going to focus on a strong first move. We're going to focus on loading the outside leg. And then as you hit the ball, it's so important that you don't hit and stop, that you hit and shuffle and then finish in this wide base when you're done.